The second law of thermodynamics, in its special, or thermal form, states, in a closed system, entropy must increase. Similarly, the general form of the law puts it this way. In an isolated system, the direction of spontaneous change is from an arrangement of lower probability towards an arrangement of higher probability. But what is the significance of the phrase closed system or isolated system? Does this mean that the principle of the law disappears if a system is open? Simply adding energy, such as sunlight, can make a law of science void? Many evolutionists like to jump on this seeming loophole in the law. They think sunlight is a terrific get-out-of-jail-free card for them. But is it? Actually, this is a huge misunderstanding. So let me educate these hopeful evolutionists on what a closed system actually means. Please understand that the law mentions an isolated or closed system, not to place conditions on the principle in play, but to allow measurement of total system entropy for comparison, before and after. Listen carefully. An open system is an incomplete system, since more is to be added later. Do you follow? So, an incomplete system is not really a system at all. Any system being evaluated for increases in the total must be defined with specified boundaries, or the total entropy will be unknown. These boundaries being defined are conceptual, not physical. To see how this works, substitute the words defined system for closed system, and it will make more sense to you. Within a specifically defined system, entropy must increase. Or, within a specifically defined system, the direction of spontaneous change is from an arrangement of lower probability towards an arrangement of higher probability. Starting to make more sense? So then, if the system you're examining appears open, just enlarge the boundary in your assessment to include any inputs of matter, energy, or information. Then you'll have your properly defined system to evaluate over the considered time frame. Entropy always increases, no exceptions. If you have been confused on this point until now, you're not alone. Many smart people have fallen prey to this sleight of hand by not having the will to think it through and hoping they can just dismiss the law. But you can't do that. The laws of science don't quit. They are quite relentless. It's just that our paradigm bias can sometimes get in the way of our understanding. So step back and rethink this. You'll get it.